Today I'm making a super speedy lighter meal that's packed with flavour and it gives me that feel good feeling of getting more delicious fish and fresh veggies into the kids. Hi I'm Nikki, welcome back to our kitchen where we show you how to make delicious family friendly recipes. We try to eat fish at least a couple of times a week and living in a fishing town I'm always inspired to try new fish dishes but often I find myself coming back to one of our family favourites and this dish is packed with flavour using one of my favourites, salmon. So let's get cooking. We're going to start by putting the pasta onto boil. I've got a pan of water coming to the boil. To that I'm going to add 300 grams or 10 and a half ounces of spaghetti. Bring to the boil and simmer for about 12 to 13 minutes until cooked. For this recipe, I've got three boneless salmon fillets, which is about 400 grams or 14 ounces, and that's perfect for my family of four. Now, of course, you can scale this recipe up or down depending on how many you're cooking for. Heat two tablespoons of olive oil in a large frying pan over a medium to high heat. Season the salmon pieces with quarter of a teaspoon each of salt and pepper. And then place in the pan, skin side up. Fry for three minutes until golden, then turn the salmon over and move to one side of the pan. Now we want to add a finely diced onion to that space we left in the pan. Cook the onions, stirring occasionally for three to four minutes until softened. Stir in two cloves of minced garlic and cook for a further 30 seconds. Now add in 500 grams or 17 and a half ounces of passata. One tablespoon of tomato puree or paste, a half a teaspoon of dried thyme and a teaspoon of sugar. Stir everything together and allow to simmer for two to three minutes. By now your pasta should be almost ready and to bulk out the dish and add in an extra veggie I'm going to add some spiralised courgette. You can buy this ready spiralised in most supermarkets or you can use one of these. Add the spiralised courgette or zucchini to the pan with the pasta for the last 30 seconds of cooking. Then drain the pasta and courgette reserving a cup of the cooking water. Now I'm going to remove the skin from the salmon. Now I know some people like skin on the salmon, but for this dish I'm breaking up the salmon into pieces so it's dispersed within that lovely tomatoey sauce. Turn the salmon over in the frying pan and remove the skin using a set of tongs and discard. Now break up the salmon in the pan using the back of a fork. Stir in three tablespoons of double or heavy cream. Add the cooked spaghetti and spiralised courgette to the pan along with a splash of the cooking water. Now use a set of tongs to toss the spaghetti in the sauce, distributing the pieces of salmon amongst the pasta. Divide the pasta between plates and top with a little grated parmesan, black pepper and a sprinkling of fresh basil leaves. And there you go, that's one of my all time favourite midweek meals. I absolutely love this dish, simple yet delicious. And if you love salmon like I do, you're going to love this honey garlic butter baked salmon. See you next time. 